Hello and welcome back and that's right it's time for another one of these big seasonal sale events and just a month before Black Friday as well. It is kind of Prime Day 2 or Prime Early Access Sound whatever you want to call it. It's not like a big 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 affair but given that there are quite a lot of promos flying around right now what I thought I would do is much like I do on Black Friday and Prime Day and like the big big events just go through the deals that are currently available and talk about the ones that I would personally buy. So I mean first and foremost you may have noticed this isn't a monetized video i've not put ads on the beginning um at the, at the same time i am only looking at things that i would personally buy so that comes into two categories one actual things that are relevant to this channel and uh, maybe things that i've talked about or things that i would talk about and two things that i think the price so i look at even with currency conversions wherever you are in the world i'd go do you know what i think i would get hold of that there so again if you do want to find out more, if you go into the link in the description, that is the page there over on NAS Compares. And we're listing every single one of the deals that we found thus far. That's me and Eddie. And again, you can vote on those, whether you think they're good or bad. They're on the right-hand side. But ultimately, it is about whether these are the sort of things that you're looking for right now when you're sitting there paying for your Prime every month or every year. I think it's good to have a bit of a deal. So if you were already holding out for Black Friday anyway, you've got nothing to lose by going through some of the offers that are available right now. But again, bear in mind, Prime Day, Prime Day is still a month now away from Black Friday, where there's probably going to be even better offers there. So bear that in mind. But without further ado, let's go through all of the offers currently available there. So... We're starting off in the UK. We're going to cover four different regions, the UK, the US, Canada, and Germany. I have looked at a few other regions like France, uh, Italy as well, because not the, enti and the entire world is not involved in this uh, seasonal offer. But at the same time, a lot of those other ones did not have significantly great deals. So I've only gone for these four regions uh, for this video. So first and foremost, uh, we've got a 6TB drive here dropped. They say 23%, I'd say more like 14 15%, but it's still a decent little offer for a WD Red Plus 6TB. Bear in mind, this is the CMR, PMR drive, not the drive-managed SMR one. So this is suitable for much bigger arrays there. And again, some of the other drives are on offer. I think the 8 and the 10 are on offer as well. But the offer isn't quite as good. And I know some of them have already started selling out as well. But the 6TB is kind of the right now the better offer of the bunch uh, when it comes to the Prime Day offers available at the moment. And again, if you want to go for a Pro Series driver, you're looking at a larger array, the 18TB drive here. And that's the Red Pro is on offer right now. Again, 404 nicker. Bear in mind, again, ignore that 27%. It's not a 20% off there. I would say realistically, based on current prices, probably about 15, 16% of what you can get these for at the moment. But still, that's a decent little price, just over £400 for that drive. And if you're thinking about bulking up on a and an array for 18 TB on the Pro, so you've got your five-year warranty and it's a decent drive, performance-wise and integrity and durability-wise, I'd recommend it at that price. Um, if you're looking at PS5 upgrades, then we will revisit the subject of the WD Black later on, but the 1 TB is currently on offer at the moment for 104 Nick it again, ignore that 59% off. It's still a great price for the 1 TB, but again, I'd say about 10, 15% off really. But it's probably one of the best prices I've seen for the heat sink equipped version. That's very, very important because you will find this drive cheaper, but without the factory installed heat sink. And it is a good, decent little heat sink there. Again, if you want it without the heat sink there, it's 74 nicker, but again, and that is the SN 7700 as well. So that is less for PS5 owners, but still for PC gamers that want that. But remember, that is the DRAMless model. So there's no onboard memory. So the performance drops from 7,000 odd to about 5,550 there. Now, carrying on, if you're looking at uh, backing up your NAS system, this is a USB drive from SanDisk down for £134. It's a 5TB usb drive now you, i I've, i own one of these but the 2tb model and again it is a very rugged drive comparable to the orange lacy um kind of uh photo editor drives that you see knocking around and this one for 134 nicker for a 5tb external drive that's a single drive 2.5 inch bus powered as well it's ideal for a nas backup as well so again if i didn't already own one of these i would definitely snap that up again that price ignore the 20 percent. i'd still say about 13 14 at most but still a great little price and again carrying on uh, for those ssds we've got another one there the samsung 980 pro they've got that 97 nicker again for a 1tb not an incredible deal but a pretty good one, particularly with the heatsink on board. Very, very important. 
the first party heat sinks, the benefits you get from a heat sink that's supplied at factory level in a dust controlled environment, and it's just a better um, uh, or more efficient experience with the heat dissipation there with first party heat sinks, always recommended. Um, ending on a couple of NAS things, uh, we've got uh, an old generation F4 series from Terramaster, that's the quad core model, so it's a quad core intel powered nas i believe um is that the intel powered one no it's the arm one i do apologize but even then for a raid 5 enabled quad core even arm based processor nas there and that's the real tech one the rtd um so again 4k uh native transcoding there again for 200 nicker for a four bay raid 5 nas that's pretty good to say the least there and again that is supporting tos5 as well so the latest version of their software which has got like the surveillance tools ai photo recognition and more and finally uh, sticking with wd there we've got a 200 pounds um my book it's a single drive usb there but bear in mind again although that is a usb das one t uh, external drive for 200 nicker that is a great little usb drive to back up your nas much like that 5 tb we mentioned earlier but even if you don't want to do that you could chuck this drive keep the enclosure and still have a 12 tb drive for just 200 nicker that's pretty good to say the least but that's enough for uk offers right now um normally on these videos i would start with the us i generally as a rule of thumb start with the us but unfortunately the us deals unless they're going to get better as the two-day event goes on they're not that fantastic but i'll get to those in a moment um let's carry on now we're going into the german offers and i only found like four particularly good offers the first is an 8 tb drive there knocking around for 189 euros uh, and that 8 tb drive there from them again that's got the seagate recovery so your data recovery services thrown in there and although it's not a fantastic offer it's still a pretty good price and i do think that 10 percent is pretty respectable it's not like an overshoot there for that deal so again 189 nicker for a nas drive there 8 tb internal non-pro drive but it is, I believe, a 5900 drive as well, because that's when helium-sealed drives came into the mix, so they can introduce more platters. Uh, moving it over to WD, we've got the WD Red Pro 8TB. And again, this is 222 euro. So bear in mind, the non-pro there from Seagate there, 189, for just a fraction more, you're getting the 8TB Pro series drive there. So 7200 RPM. Uh, that, again, is when, uh, I believe, helium seal came after this one but this is a quieter drive 8tb is when just at the point when these drives started to get super noisy again not a fantastic offer i would certainly quibble that 20 percent number there and put that close to the 10 or 20 percent but still a decent little offer for a nas hard drive there now this brings us back to shucking um, or removing drives, I should say, uh, from these. And this NAS itself is incredibly low end. If you want to have a network backup in your local area environment for home or business, this is a decent choice at 799 euro. I would not recommend this system as your primary NAS, not in a month of Sundays. It is not the most impressive NAS in the field. I would say it's one of the least impressive. But as a value network drive and including 28 TB, so a couple of 14 TB drives, which again, you can chuck out because it's got a tray system there. If we get that image up, you'll be able to keep those drives for yourself. And at the moment, 12 TB drives, non, uh, sorry, 14 TB drives have entered the pro field. So you may likely get an ultra star or a pro series drive in there but still nonetheless you can get those drives out of there use it as a network backup for localized smaller drives and still have a couple of 14s that you can use in your actual nas system so although in of itself it's not the best deal for a very low-end nas the capability for you to separate these two items into the nas and the drives get some cheap drives for the local network backup and keep the drives for something more meaningful then it becomes something more palatable and this last one isn't strictly a prime day deal but i would say it should be this is the ts453d uh, it's a four bay nas there and it's knocking around for 449 euros for an intel quad core pcie 2.5 gbe equipped nas with four gig of memory inside this is a very good nas and i've covered it a lot on the channel in the past and Although it's by no means current gen, hence the clearance price it's going for, I would say it's by far one of, if not the best NAS deal right now to get this NAS again for just 449 euros, which again, translate that into your pounds or your dollars, because a lot of the offers I'm talking about today, by the way, 
are still available in other countries too. If you head to that article that I mentioned in the first uh, part of the video, all of here, these uh, links here, if the offer is available in your region, if you click these buttons here to take you to where the deal is available, heading through these links will translate you into your own store. And then if that deal is available in your own region, it will appear. So a lot of the offers that we're talking about today are available in other regions too. So do bear that in mind. But again, not strictly an, a prime early access deal, but still a very good deal nonetheless. So let's make our way into the US. And again, as mentioned, there are some deals here in the US, but they're not that great. I almost had the opportunity to tell you about a very good one. They had the DS920 on a fantastic pricing. I think it was $449 or $446 on a 21% price drop. However, at the time of recording, just as I started recording, the offer ended. So unfortunately, as much as I would have loved to have told you about that deal and linked to it, it's no longer available. It may be coming back, and I have added it to that article I showed you earlier on. But still, nonetheless, the 920 is regularly on offer at these events, so don't be surprised if it is on offer in your region or it comes back in the US. And if it is, we'll update it in the links below. Next up, again, going back to the hard drive, we've got the 20TB Seagate Iron Wolf Pro, knocking around for $400. Again, ignore that 37% price drop. I'd say it's about 15 20% at best, but still, a 20TB drive for $400 right now. And that price drop from $600, although it's not realistic, it does still train change quite a lot. So 20TB drive, and it's a Pro Series drive at that, so your five-year warranty included, and very good performance. I think it's 272 megabytes per second. For a SATA drive, it's very impressive there. And again, data recovery services included there. Next up, uh, another Seagate. Much like what I mentioned with WD earlier on, this gives you the option of either keeping it or shucking the thing. It is uh, £419, and this is a 20 TB drive in a hub. Now, remember, we just mentioned 399 for a 20 TB drive there, or get a 20 TB drive here for 419 and get the hub included as well, which means you've got the additional storage there. So if you were needing something to back up uh, your NAS onto a USB or just a standard work drive. This is a decent little option for a 20 TB external drive that's got external connectivity over USB A and C. Next up, this is something I legitimately purchased myself in the UK four days ago for another video. Um, I think I mentioned this in the Prime Day sales back in like June, July, and I was on the verge of buying it and i chose not to at the time because i had other project got uh, on on the way but this is a dual slot pcie uh, uh gen 4 upgrade card that allows you to add two pcie gen 4 ssds on board so it's a gen 4 times 8 card so you're not going to use up that you know mammoth times 16 card that your gpu card might be in but this allows you again gen 4 so 2000 megs uh, and then times eight, that's a 16,000 uh, 16, meg card. So a couple of those SSDs in there, that is some serious performance. I'm going to use it for testing so I can test more than one SSD at a time. But do bear in mind, you are going to have to make sure your CPU is compatible. I think it's Intel only and 11th. I'm not sure if it supports 10th gen. I know it supports 11th and 12th gen. But do check your compatibility first. But for 27 Nica for this card, it's very good. And particularly because of the RAID support as well. Finally, again, not the most exciting item, but definitely something worth touching on is this GLaDO uh, camera here. Uh, I've already reviewed it. I think I reviewed it a short while ago. What date did I review it? The 8th. So again, not too many days ago. And I was impressed with the camera. And again, this is a NAS-supported camera. So you can use it as an internal camera with your Synology QNAP, Asus, or TerraMaster NAS system. And it's only $23 for a NAS-supported pan-tilt camera. Now, when I did test it with Synology and QNAP, I will highlight that the Synology allowed me to activate the pan-tilt mode, but it was only um, via RSTP that I could use it on the QNAP. I could see it, but I couldn't control the pan-tilt control on the QNAP unless I went in another way. So do bear that in mind. But if you're a Synology user and you want to have just a low-end camera in your home and you've got the surveillance station software and camera license included anyway, it's a decent little camera there. I would recommend it there. It was surprisingly detailed on the software as well. And again, if you're thinking about it, maybe watch the video first, or I went through some of the software facilities on there first. Uh, we're going to end things 
here in Canada. Uh, and uh, Canada stuff, there's some reasonably interesting stuff. If you're a value series buyer, we've got the Synology uh, DS220J. I don't know whether you guys have heard, let's face it, the DS723 Plus and 923 plus are pretty much on their way i think november they're going to arrive and they're going to be amd um, r1600 based cpus there now a lot of people are kind of jumping on the bandwagon with a plus series now while it's still celeron now in the case of the value series not quite so cut and dry the new uh, the next generation of uh, value series models are going to arrive with the realtek rtd 1619 uh, which is a pretty good six core cpu from what we can gather now, this has got that quad-core CPU inside, and only half a gig of uh, DDR4 memory. Uh, I should say it's a dual-core Marvel CPU inside this, but it's still a 64-bit processor. So for a value series NAS, although, uh, unless you're, in, you're talking Canadian, it does look like a lot in dollars, but in Canadian dollars, that's not too shabby. So again, this is probably one of only one of two reasonable NAS deals I found during this event in the for Canada, but it's still a decent little deal, and I would recommend it at that price. Um, but one that I'd probably be slightly more inclined to recommend is this one. This is the 10 GBE 5 Bay uh, Intel powered TerraMaster. Now again, you don't have to use their software, although TOS 5 is pretty good now. But for a 10 gigabit Ethernet equipped NAS that's a 5 bay RAID 5 enabled Intel quad core and you know it's 631 Canadian dollars that's pretty darn reasonable to put that into perspective let's look at some of the others if you look at the price right now of the DS920 there the DS920 in Canada right now I think it's like six seven hundred yeah that's some of the prices you would pay right now from some of the resellers and that one that we just looked at is cheaper Intel quad core powered and 10 gigabit ethernet equipped so again very reasonable offer there if you're a ps5 buyer again in the uh, over in canada the best i would recommend right now is to go for the licensed ps5 wd black drive because it's being priced exactly the same as the non uh, endorsed but at the same time it's got that heating you know with the special ps5 livery and branding and although that's not the best offer for a 1TB it's still pretty reasonable for Canada as well and right now if you're going to upgrade your PS5 over there this is probably the best option at least as far as these um, early access offers are uh, final few things we've got this 2.5 GB adapter not the most exciting price to be straight with you there's a lot of 2.5 GB adapters that you can get for a little bit cheaper but it's the idea that it is a USB-C equipped one with very, very good reviews there. And if you were thinking of upgrading your host client systems to 2.5 GBE, this is a pretty good price for a USB-C equipped one for you guys that are using like slim MacBooks and basically devices where you're never going to be able to upgrade the network ports via a PCIe card. And to use the USB-C port there is going to be a lot more beneficial to a lot of you Mac users. Um, so next, and the final thing we're going to talk about there, and this is more of a silly thing, but one thing that I have already purchased, and hopefully I'll have a video on this in the next week or so, is the GLAX. This is a, a pocket-sized Wi-Fi 6 router. It's a SIM router that runs on uh, battery power there when needed, and it supports third-party software as well, like OpenWRT. It is a fantastic little router that you can use on the go and the fact that it's wi-fi 6 sim router as well is very very impressive indeed and i do recommend this in my review i've only done the preliminary unboxing and the software stuff isn't finished but even now from what i've seen i am impressed by it and again it's a little expensive but for what you're getting there are very few uh, routers like this that have got external antennae have got gigabit LAN ports that are wi-fi 6 and are portable sim routers so i would recommend it nonetheless but this has been the offers that I would personally recommend uh, during this prime early access sale a month before Black Friday. We'll be repeating this on Black Friday like we always do to look at the deals that we would personally buy me and Eddie there. So again, you can head to this article linked in the description where we've broken down all of the offers that we found thus far and there are some others that we've not mentioned in today's video and we will be continuing to add stuff to this page over the next day or so. So do check that out. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching to go check those out again there won't be another video like this during uh on this channel during the event but other than that i'll probably see you in the next video in the next day or so other than that cheerio